Don't paint me thankless. Just have to say this. No, you doubt the way you move. Hi guys, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about a healthy lifestyle, self-care, homemaking, all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. Today, obviously, you clicked on the title. We're talking about healthy habits, implementing healthy habits. Let me tell you what inspired this video because I talked about it in my last vlog, but if you didn't see that, you wouldn't know. I last week went to the doctor and they told me how much I weighed, which I haven't weighed myself since I was 18, which was six years ago. And obviously, your weight changes in six years. And I was appalled by the number that they told me and it really just motivated me to live a healthier lifestyle. I have no reason not to live a healthier lifestyle. I don't have kids. I only have one job. And there's this is just the perfect time in my life to implement healthier habits. I have been trying, but I've just been kind of slacking off and I needed this motivation, I think. So that is why we're doing this video. So I'm going to share a few healthy habits that I have or I'm starting to implement and I'm going to share some ideas later on in the video for you if you're also trying to implement healthy habits. Also since it's spring it almost feels like a second new year. <laughs> it feels like you are getting the motivation back that you lost in January and February and it's almost like you get a fresh start. So that's kind of how I feel. It's like a fresh start right now and we are going to take advantage of that. So let me tell you what's happening today because you're probably thinking this is a healthy habits video but you woke up at 9. That's not true. <laughs> I'm going on a work trip this weekend. It's going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So my boss told us to take a different day off this week to make up for that time so it would even out so I'm choosing Wednesday today last night I stayed up till 11 finishing the work I wanted to finish before we left on our trip so I thought I deserved to sleep in I woke up at 7 30 and just kind of had a slow morning I ate a little muffin for breakfast I read my bible I watched a little YouTube video all that stuff so that's why you just saw me up at nine, but I got up a little earlier than that. Also, another thing is my period is supposed to start in two days and I try as much as I can. I do work a hybrid job, so I go into the office sometimes and I work from home sometimes. So if I have the luxury, I try to take the days leading up to my period or on my period very low key and mostly alone. <laughs> I just like to hibernate, be introverted, and just take care of my body. So that is also why I slept in today. Yesterday I stayed at the house all day pretty much. I did go to the gym but I didn't leave the house too much, didn't see anybody, and that's kind of what I tried to do because I know that I need that. But anyways, today we're going to the gym again. Normally, I try to do more low-key workouts closer to my period, but we are going to go to the gym. I'm not going to be able to work out the entire trip since we will be staying in an Airbnb and we have packed full days. So this is my last time working out for this week before I leave. So I wanted it to be a good one. So I'm going to do a few things around the house, then we're going to go to the gym. And I'll share with you kind of what my workout routine looks like in a month.
my workout routine is that I try to be very intuitive about my workouts. A lot of cycle syncing, if you've ever heard of that, if not, you can just look it up on the internet on TikTok, you'll find something about it. But basically, it's syncing your workouts to your cycle. So when it's more towards my period, I will do more low-key workouts like walks, Pilates. But when it's like the ovulation time is when you do high-intensity workouts like the gym. Or 12 3 30 is really high intensity for me, so I consider that part of that category but like I explained earlier I'm doing the gym today because I just want to get a good workout in to last for a bit <laughs> since I'm going to be on a trip so that's what we're going to do I'm going to go to the gym and do legs I normally do five different machines with legs then I will do some cardio at the end so I'm thinking the little elliptical I think that's what it's called where your arms and legs are moving and you're going back and forth. I think that's what it is. I just don't remember the name, but that's what we're gonna do. because I want to work at a coffee shop this afternoon want to get lunch out of the way I always eat leftovers for lunch people in my real life are always surprised that I never cook anything for lunch but I always have leftovers for lunch because Alec hates leftovers and he never eats them and that leaves me to eat them so I'm having leftover spaghetti and cucumbers on the side <laughs> and that's gonna be my lunch just letting my hair dry a little bit that everything shower felt so good so glad that i got to do that
let me tell you what my work from home routine is because I feel like I have a good routine now, now that I've learned a lot about myself and how I work. So like I explained earlier, I have a hybrid schedule. So I go to the office two to three times a week and then I come home two to three times a week to work. What I do when I work from home is I try to keep a good morning routine of getting up at six, just like I would if I was going to the office, working out, spending time with Jesus, doing the normal things that I would do. I just can do them a little bit more leisurely because I'm not going to the office. Then because I'm not the most productive at home, I will go to a coffee shop. My husband works at a coffee shop, so I normally go to his coffee shop. And I normally like to spend the earlier part of my day there, like before lunch, maybe till like one, two, maybe. And then I'll come home, eat lunch, and then finish up whatever I need to do at home. This is the system that has worked best for me. But there, I'll be honest, there's some days where I just want to work from my bed all day. That's what I did yesterday. And normally that would not be a very productive work day for me, but I ended up working eight hours still. So that's kind of how I work from home. That's my schedule. If you also work from home and struggle, I understand it's hard when you have dishes and laundry around you that you could be doing to be focused, but I found a good system that works for me. and putting all of these clothes in the suitcase. I'm going to share a few healthy habit ideas for you, things that I try to implement, but also things that I already have been doing for a while. The first one is don't snooze your alarm. You've heard it before. The reason why is because you go into a deeper sleep when you snooze your alarm, and then it's harder to wake up when the next alarm comes on. So avoid doing that. You have to train yourself, but you got to avoid it. Don't go on your phone for a certain amount of time in the morning and at night. This is because the blue light disrupts our sleep and our circadian rhythm. That's our body telling us it's time to shut down and start sleeping. So when you're on your phone, look at the blue light that disrupts it and makes it harder to sleep. Getting a good workout routine. I shared mine earlier, so you kind of already know what that is, but something that works for you. Don't feel like you have to have a workout routine that everyone else has. Do something that works best for you. Reading your Bible in the morning. This is what I do before I go on my phone. Normally it's only 30 minutes, but at least I am getting the word in before I'm getting anything else of the world <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> Eating a full healthy breakfast. This is something I'm still working on. I eat a lot of cliff bars when I go to the office, trying to get better at getting more of a breakfast on days that I need to get out the door fast, but as much as you can. If you're better at breakfast than me, then props to you. Crowding out foods. I do this because I find that just restricting them is not sustainable. The difference between restricting and crowding out is restricting is saying I'm not going to eat chocolate anymore versus crowding out is I recognize when I normally eat chocolate, which is at night before bed. Then I crowd it out with something else and say I want to eat strawberries instead or something like that. That's what crowding out means and it works a lot better. Okay, I just finished all those clothes so I can focus. The next one is to get outside every day. I'm actually gonna do this after I finish folding everything and we're gonna go read outside because it's a really nice day. So 
I highly recommend the fresh air is good for you. Journaling, I don't journal every day. I journal once a week, but that could be a good practice for you. Just getting out your thoughts, clearing your mind, all of that good stuff. Reading every day, I also don't do this, but it's also just better for you than being on your phone all the time. You know, you've heard this all before. Stop working at a certain time of night. I'm also horrible at this, obviously, because I worked till 11 last night. I wish I could give you a tip on how to do that better, but I don't have a tip. I just need to stop doing that. Cooking dinners at home, my husband and I go back and forth between who cooks at home. So he knows that on Mondays, it's a really busy day for me. I normally don't have time to cook, so he knows that Mondays are his day to cook, but the rest of the week kind of is just dependent on what we're doing. Do skincare before bed. Sometimes I skip out on this, but I try to be consistent. I would say 75% of the time I'm doing it, but wash off all the dirt in the makeup because it will prevent acne. And if you have any more healthy habits, please leave them down below because I would love them. And now let's go get some fresh air. I hope you enjoyed talking about healthy habits today and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you and if you like these types of videos make sure to press this one next and I will see you whenever I see you next bye guys Bye.